Welcome back to the Pink Envelope. It's time to do some decorating. We went on vacation down to where my parents live and we were doing the beach thing and got back into town yesterday and I was like, it's time to decorate. So I stripped down everything and here we are decorating. I wanna do a early spring look. It has a touch of Easter, but it's not quite that full on Easter Easter look. I actually may do two looks now that I'm thinking about it, but we're gonna start with a really great neutral Easter or early spring look and just play with all of the home decor subscri subscription box items I've gotten. Uh, I think pretty much everything has come from spring 22, but I know there's some oldies like from spring 2021 that I love that we will throw in here. Oh, hi. The indoor outdoor kitty. If you follow me on Instagram, you know who this is. This is the outdoor kitty who has made herself an indoor kitty just came out from the upstairs where she was probably asleep in the kid's bed. Let's go outside. Okay, let's start with the anchor piece. So my anchor piece is this magnolia wreath. It is a faux magnolia wreath, but it is like the best faux magnolia I've ever seen. The reason it is the best faux magnolia I've ever seen is from uh, Magnolia, like Waco Magnolia. And this was actually gifted to me by my realtor who sold me this house, who is a Magnolia realtor. Uh, he is freaking amazing. His team is amazing. And after they made buying this house happen in like record time, he gave me a gift. And y'all have seen this over and over and over. I love this wreath and I decorate it with all the time. So it's gonna be our anchor piece for this neutral spring design. I am a really big fan of Murder Bunny 2.0. This set came in the Decor Still Still It Box Spring Summer 22 box. This is by far my favorite items that came in that box. And I wanted to go ahead and put them up because I think they're so cute. But I didn't want them to be quite so literal in the design, so I staggered them. I put them opposing. You could put them on either side. You could put them side by side. And I did have them on either side, but then I ended up swapping them. You could put the head over here and the booty over here. That bothered you. Doesn't really matter. But I ran over and grabbed the Third and Main Spring Contemporary Farmhouse Topper Plus Vase Set. And I wanted to put it over here, add a little bit of those more bright Eastery greens to this side of things. And as you see, as I'm designing, I'll shuffle things around and angle them differently as I build out the design. Sliding down, I have the basket set from my White Home Woods Luxe Spring 2022 box. I just have the big basket and it's still cold here. Like right now, it's 52 outside and it was 40 last night. It's just cold. So I want to make sure I have blankets always available. The TV's right over here. We're always cuddling up in this room. So I always keep a grouping. This is the grouping of blankets I'm using this time though. So I have three different guys right here. I have the deco created blanket. Oh boy. I've had this blanket for two or three years. Like it's one of my original blankets I got. I have this guy in here because it's my kiddo's favorite. It's really soft. Then I have my new floral blanket. This guy came in the Elheim spring box this year. It has this great floral print and these fabulous yellow tassels right here. And then I have this guy. He came in the Urban Farmhouse Favorites January 2022 box. Uh, that box is definitely no longer available. And so this was a great find. Once again, I love the color. I love the tassels. It's just fun. So we have those spilling out. I want to move over here behind the bunny booty and show you what I did. I have the basket from the Elheim Spring 2022 box that I want to tuck behind the bunny booty. But I also have these big old chunky beads that only have a tassel on one side. This came in the Urban Farm Girl Farmhouse Favorites January box that I want to drape just the edge in here and have this spilling over. And I want to tuck it back there behind the bunny booty and let me show you what I want to put inside. These are dried eucalyptus, silver dollar eucalyptus, uh, random greens from HEB 
and Costco that I buy. So like when you go in there and you see pretty greenery, buy them, take them and tie them up in the bunches and hang them upside down and they'll just dry. You'll just have greenery to work with. And then you can put them wherever, however, they smell so good. So I literally went out to my garage and grabbed just a big mix. It's messy, you can see them falling. So it's a messy project, but it's so cheap to buy them and dry them and throw them back here in this vase just to kind of give us that really earthy texture. So depending on your personality, all the little pieces that are falling off here, I'm actually sprinkling around on the basket. I don't know why you would throw them away, they're so pretty. And then I have this basket. I think this came in the habitation box middle of last year. This is from 2021 and it came with a few of these like paper mache eggs. I've since added in more paper mache eggs and some plastic eggs to create this bigger bundle. And I just wanted to sit this down here by the booty bunny. Bunny booty. And then moving up in this direction, I wanted to grab the vase and the dried greenery that came in the Dorothy Jean Spring 2022 box. Freaking love it. Y'all saw me freak out in the video. I just love dried things. And you can see how nicely they're like soft and pliable and the color's great. I have not yet figured out how to dry things as good as like professional dryers. My stuff always ends up looking a little bit dull, but the day I figure it out, I will share it with you. In the meantime, I rely on my subscription boxes to send me fabulous dry greenery. And then I have the two candlesticks that came in my Design Life Delivered winter box, I think. Yes, winter 21. These two guys came in. And then for good measure, because I own like 100 sets of beads, I'm gonna throw a set of beads around the base and the neutral bunny that came in the Elheim box. And that's it. Voila, design is done. Very neutral, very spring with the, even a little touch of Easter, but still not that like overly crazy wild hit your in your face color. However, you know, you know me, I love my color. So I think I may tear this down, share a like spring crazy color design, and then let's vote which one stays up until I decorate for Easter. That could be fun. Before I dive into the second design, I thought we would play a little game. This game is called Guess How Many Throw Blankets the Pink Envelope Has Received from Spring 2021 through Spring 2022. Right now, in the comments, comment how many throw blankets you think I've received just from Spring 21 till now. And then we're gonna do a little counting. Y'all ready? I have received 15 throw blankets in the last year. We're not counting any that I received the years before. So at any given point, I have around 20, even up to 30 blankets floating around here. Have no worries. <laughs> and actually, there probably are more that I don't even realize that family and friends have taken. So we're really warm and so chic around here. Okay, let's go for design two. Design two is a little bit more color, a little bit more springy. Uh, maybe what we call that first one a little more farmhouse and this one a little more, I don't know, what should we call the second design? You can tell me in just a second. So let's get our centerpiece up. Going with a little more of a whimsically type design wreath, a little less structure, a little more color. And I really do love those bunny prints, so I want to bring those back. So cute. 
And now I just kind of want to build the design out a little bit. I'm thinking stack of books with some goodies right here. Let's see what colors of books I have. These are just old vintage books. I collect them at thrift stores or antique places. Um, I usually pay anywhere from $2.99 to $4.99 a book. I never spend more than $4.99. I've got some really great books, so just be patient and you can find them. And I just have a rainbow of them that I use. I prefer things not to sit flat unless they're hanging. So you'll see I angled that bunny print board and then kind of angled the books in a zigzag pattern. And then I want to take that same habitation basket with the same habitation eggs. I've draped the blue beads from Deco Created Spring on here and I'm going to put it on top of my books. The wreath here is just from Hobby Lobby. And of course you already know the decor stills prints. I've got the little bitty bluebird from the Deco Created Spring. I'm going to put up here. I think it adds just a fun little touch. And then I have the same basket. This basket's from my White Home Woods Lux Spring. I've mixed up the blankets. This one's from Decor Steels. I don't remember where these two came from, uh, but they came in the last year in one of my subscription boxes. Maybe, maybe some of you dedicated TPE followers can tell me where'd the middle middle throw come from, and where did this throw come from? And then because I just I want color. This design is about color. I have the pink Just Deco vase with just some pink flowers that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Where did this come from? This white pedestal, it's round. I cannot for the life of me remember where the pedestal came from. So if you guys remember, comment below. I'm just gonna set these in the corner over here. Just a little something, I don't know. I may find something else to put on the pedestal. We'll see. I really love these Design Life Delivered candlesticks. So I'm gonna put them right back up pretty much where they were. And then if you watched my deco crated release, I shared this was my big splurge outside of my subscription boxes, which I always get. I actually went up and bought that wreath and these faux florals for my spring splurge. They weren't that expensive. But um, this is the vase from 3rd and Main Winter 21, I think. It's a 3rd and Main vase, but I think it came in my winter box. And then I didn't even trim these down. These are two different types of flowers I got from Hobby Lobby, the type with their description number is down below in the description of this video. In the description of this video is where every single item came from, plus a coupon code if you wanna go sign up for that subscription box, plus measurements, tips and tricks. The descriptions down below are not filled with a bunch of random links about a bunch of random things. All of my descriptions are about the video you and I are hanging out on. So go down below if you have any questions and make sure there's not an answer there. Next, I have a couple more things, more vintage books. The bird cage from Deco Created and the large blue bird from Deco Created Spring. And then a bird's nest I found out in the yard. Disclaimer, don't go be taking bird's nest. This guy was literally on the ground and he had been abandoned there for forever. Um, typically towards the beginning of fall, you will see that birds are not having babies anymore and the winds kick up and that's a great time to gather birds nest on the ground. Just make sure you don't go take some poor baby birds home. And then I have the second set of blue beads from the Deco Created Spring and the Elheim Spring Box Bunny that I'm just gonna plug in over here to add a little oomph. Okay, we're done. A little bit more color, a little less wood, but not still over the top. This is definitely still, in my opinion at least, a spring design with a, maybe a touch of Easter, but this is by far not an Easter design. I have an Easter design coming for you guys next, but this is so cute. And actually, let me show you this. Depending on your personality, the original wreath will look just as good up here. So you might find you dig this design a little bit more. With the green up there, you don't have as much competing with the florals at the bottom. But if you really like florals, the triangle of the florals is actually really cool. We all have those moments in life that stretch us. This third design, a contemporary design, was my moment. 
So I happen to have just gotten in a Bright Cellars box of wine. So I popped open the Paper Tiger. We're gonna try it together here. And then I'm gonna reveal what is my loose interpretation of a contemporary spring design. Let me drink this first. I'm just gonna walk you through step by step. I took that original Magnolia wreath, loved it, felt like it fit the look, and added in this grouping here. This is our same bunny that we've had in all the past two designs. These are the same vintage books I've been using. I added in this third and main tray. Pretty much this entire design is complements of third and main. They're my first contemporary box, so my inventory for designing is a little bit low. When I lived in Houston, contemporary was my jam. But now that I moved to San Antonio, I wanted a new look and the neighborhood and area I'm living in is less contemporary, so I pivoted. So this was actually a lot of fun to do, even if I didn't quite have as much to work with as I wanted. But here is the tray from, is this winter? I think this is the winter tray. This is from spring and this is from spring. This is that topper. I just took the plant out. The plant that they put in here looks good at eye level or looking down, but it is not a plant that looks good when looking up because you see the underside of a faux leaf, not a fan. So I just swapped it. Their stuff is very versatile. On this side over here, you actually, you actually are going to see a mix. So I do have the basket with the three moss balls inside that came in this last 30 main spring box. Freaking love this. So cute. This is the golden carrot from the White Home Woods Lux Spring Box. Really love it. Looks really cute with this design. This is a faux plant from my house in Houston. I've had this for forever. <laughs> if you look up close, you can tell it's about 15 years old. I just, sentimental value, so I've kept it and it plugged in great here. But this will give you an idea of what my Houston home used to look like. Very different. And those are vintage books, the same ones we've been using. Down here, y'all know I love these flowers. I just bought these flowers. So I took the Deco Created art card, put it into the Decor Stills gold frame. Oop, I didn't tape it. Don't judge. I should have taped it. <laughs> you can see on the back where I had some tape before. But if I had it in place and it was taped, it would stay in place. It looks super cute. And then on this mystery pedestal, I cannot remember. I hope you guys have already put it on. I put the two decorated birds, the cloche, the green boss, and the two eggs that came in our last third in main spring box. So that is super cute together. Love the, like the concept of the protecting of the eggs and the mama and the daddy bird hanging out. I think it's so cute. And then as I have in most of my designs, my cozy corner, I've got a couple of the mini pillows and blankets that I own tucked away over here. So if the kids want to pull them off and lay down on the ground, they can. Like I said, this is not my finest work and I know it's going to grow and improve as third in main continues to develop this amazing contemporary box that they're doing. I just had to share something with you guys. And I feel like I'm getting close to really having a super cool contemporary design. Okay. You guys, thank you so much for decorating with me. I really want to be more intentional about creating more of these with each season and each holiday coming up mixing and matching all of my different home decor subscription boxes because they really do play so well together. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, go down below and grab coupon codes and go do some shopping. Some of these boxes are already sold out. Some of them sold out on the day I posted. However, not all of them are. So some of these you can still grab and you can always pre-order for summer. I will start spoiling summer subscription boxes in about a month, month and a half, which is so crazy. I hope that you guys have a fabulous spring and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye y'all.